team keep it clean what is up it's engraving here i'm here to share my post game thoughts from the game that we all watched live in person last night between the cincinnati Bengals and the baltimore ravens from mt bank stadium man it, it was rocking there but first and foremost everybody that we got to meet uh people that we got to see again some people that we seen for the very first time but feel like we knew them already felt like family i appreciate every single body uh so for some, some people we couldn't see unfortunately because there were some mix-ups my apologies uh there's always next time for sure but my apologies that's on me um, but I really love y'all team. Keep it clean. Thank you for every single body that came out to the tailgate. Thank you for every single body that we've seen in the stadium. Thank you for every single body watching this video. Every single body showing support. I appreciate y'all like crazy. Last night was a great time. Uh, got a lot of compliments on my little jacket. I'm a little ja I love this jacket. I just bought it yesterday. Uh, and I ain't gonna gatekeep. Because some people ask, hey, where'd you get that jacket from? I ain't gatekeeping. I got it from from Towson Town Center. Uh, so yeah, it, and I looked at some different stores in there. My fault that I don't remember what the store is called. It's, it's one that they said they, they, they have it in White Marsh too, but I forgot what the store is called. But the one in Towson Town Center, they still building it up a little bit. Um, so I, I do not remember what it's called, but because I saw some nice jackets in some different price, places, and I looked at some of them prices, I was like, whoa, buddy, I don't know about that, but this one, it was good, and I, I, I love it, man. So y'all going to be seen in a lot of videos. But anyway, <clears throat> Let's talk about the game. Oh, man, this game. Uh, I thought it was going to be a close one. I was thinking Ravens will win by, like, two points against the Bengals. And they didn't. But, I mean, at the same time, they were facing a Joe Burrow-less Bengals. And it seems as if that, that whole hand injury, that wrist injury, that every a lot of people thought people were making a bigger deal about it. It turned out that they people were not making a bigger deal than what it was because it was a big deal. Um, Joe Burrow, uh, he ended up leaving the game. What was it in the second quarter, I believe? Because he he was doing his thing early on. Um, he like wasn't going off or nothing like that, but he 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 was solid, man. Joe Burrow was doing Joe Burrow stuff. That was a really nice pass that he threw to. I think his tight end where Patrick Queen just got beat, uh, and Joe Burrow put it right in front of the safety, but behind Patrick Queen and put it right in the middle of both of them, and tight end jumped up and caught it. Um, but yeah, man. Joe Burrow, he he got lost for essentially the game, but it could be a lot longer. Um, but yeah, he was what eleven for I want to say eleven for seventeen. I'm trying to pull it up right now, I think he was eleven for seventeen. Threw that one touchdown to uh to Joe Mixon. Um, so yeah, he was having a solid game, uh, but he wasn't scoring too many points though. So that's always a good thing because uh, he did get the one touchdown, but the rest were field goals. And then, of course, he exited the game. And, and Jake Browning, he came in the game. Uh, now, one thing I was surprised about, so you've got to give him credit. Got to give Jake the Snake some credit. He went 8 for 14, threw that one touchdown uh, to, to Jamar Chase. Uh, and that was like, I've never seen Jamar Chase so sad on a touchdown. But I think it was because, obviously because they were losing, but even more so it was deeper than the, the, the Bengals just losing to the Ravens because the game was over by then. But I think Jamar Chase was going through the emotions. Not going through the motion, but going through the emotions because that's your quarterback. And he knows that like Joe Burrow couldn't even grip the football. So with him not being able to grip the football, like Jamal Chase, he ain't still, he knows. He knows, like, it's, it's probably going to be over for a while for Joe Burrow um, this season. Like, because it's like, do you, if you have surgery, you're probably done for the year. If you try to wait and do rehab, like, again, us as Ravens fans, we know the differences between when you have surgery versus when you want to rehab. We know it, especially. We know all, all of that in detail. But if Joe Burrow tries to rehab, then that could take a long time, too. So it's like. I think this this just me. This is just me. I, NFL outside of no plugs, no sources, no none of that, no connects, none of that. I think Joe Burrow gonna be done for the year. Um because it's what, five games left? No, six games left. Six, six games left. And how long rehab could take a little minute for that. And surgery obviously would probably end so we'll, we'll see. We'll see. But again, I don't know. But that that was like the, the saddest touchdown I've ever seen Jamar Chase score. Um but I get why. Uh, but Ravens' defense in this game, they were solid. They were up and down. Um, but I, what I was surprised about, they ain't forced no turnovers. Like, when against Joe Burrow, I was hoping for maybe a turnover. I wasn't really expecting it to. But against uh, Jake Bra no turnovers. No turnovers. They got some sacks now. Hey, I think they got uh, five sacks, so shout out to them. But no turnovers. 
I was like, what? Really? But uh, again, we we so spoiled, man. We we so spoiled as Ravens fans. Man. We really are. Now, um, with the Baltimore Ravens, Joe Mixon. He was getting some solid runs against him. Um, he went 16 for 69 yards, uh, an average 4.3 yards a carry. So he was getting some solid yards against him. Nothing too crazy, which was good, but they were, it was still solid. Uh, there will be some times where it looked like he was about to break for a long one, but it ended up being too 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 long of a run, which I was glad about. Thank goodness. Ooh, it, was, it was some scary moments in that game. Uh, but somebody else who kept breaking was Jake the Snake Browning. Um, and, and that's something when, when it's a quarterback because you <clears> – <throat> When you're going up against a quarterback, especially a quarterback that you don't really know like that, they can catch you off guard. Like, even, like, somebody who, like, if you play in football, too, like, and somebody who may not seem fast, and they may not even be fast, but they take off on you, can catch you off guard, like, hold on, where you come from? Because you may not be expecting it. So I think the Ravens weren't expecting it, and he caught them slipping. Like, a lot of times, that boy took off, man. Uh, but, yeah, the Baltimore Ravens, their defense, um, in last night's game, but the, the highlight would have to be uh, them getting the sacks. Uh, and my guy, I know my guy JC24, I know it because they showed him on the big screen, he got a sack. I said, yeah, my guy. So I know Kyle Vinoy, he got one. To Justin Matter BK, he got nine and a half sacks now through, what, 11 games? <laughs> Every week that money keep increasing. Oh, who else got a sack? Let me take a look. Uh, oh, Adolphe Way. Adolphe Way been balling too. He really been balling these past couple weeks. That boy, he, he went and he got hurt. And Adafi came back and he said, oh, all these people keep talking to trash about me? Oh, yeah, I got something for them. Watch this. And he been, I think he got like a sack every game since he's been back, I think. And if not every game since he's been back, then most games since he's been back, he got a sack. So shout out to Adafi away, man. Um, who else got one? So Matt BK, Adafi away, Kyle Vinoy, Jadavion Clowney. Where's the last one? Where's the last one? Who am I missing? Oh, oh, the rookie. I forgot. Tavius Robinson, number 95. He got a sack, too. Okay, see, I'm glad. See, I'm glad when I pull up the numbers because I, I, I remember from the game last night, but I forget uh, this morning. So, yeah, Tavius Robinson got a sack, too. So, they were all just teeing off. Teeing off. I think two of them were on Joe Burrow and the other three were on Jake the Snake Browning. So, shout out to Ravens defense for continuing. Like, they, they've been having these sack parties, and we ain't mad. Now, um, the Baltimore Ravens get a nice little break, well, a nice long break before their next game. And before we talk about the offense, let's take a break to hear a word from our sponsor. We made it to the month of November. And while we're that much closer to the end of the year, you can be that much closer to reaching your goals. And Factor's here to help. This November, get Factor and enjoy eating well without all the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh flavor packed meals delivered right to your door ready in just two minutes no prep no mess when you're too busy running around to plan lunch factor has you covered with lunch to go effortless wholesome meals like grain bowls and salad toppers that are ready to eat when you're on the go with no microwave required factor just makes life easier because they cut down on grocery trips on cooking so there's more time for us to enjoy the game especially this late in the season because every game is critical and they have so many nutritious options that help keep your fridge well stocked like with smoothies and juices that are perfect for easy snacking. Factor meals are fresh and never frozen. Now, we've mentioned how easy Factor can be and how easy it makes your life, but how easy is it to prepare the meals? Well, let me show you. That's it. That's all it took. But how can you get started with your Factor Meals? Well, let me tell you. Just head to Factor75.com or click the link below and use code ENGRAVEN50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. Again, just head to Factor75.com or click the link below and use code ENGRAVEN50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. Shout out to Factor. Now, uh, with the Baltimore Ravens and their offense. Offense, oh man. Um, their offense in this game... Another game with over 30 points. Another one. Like, I think this is five straight games, and they said they haven't done this since 2019. And we know 2019 is a season that everybody wants to compare every single thing to. Uh, like, that's the only Baltimore Ravens season that exists. But I get it because they went crazy that year. They went 14-2. and two. They were number one seed and all that. Amazing. Now, um, on Monday... Go Eagles. Go Eagles. Yeah, fly, Eagles, fly. I don't know that song, but go Eagles. So the Ravens could get that number one seed, uh, at least for now. So we'll see what happens. But go, Philly, go. Um, Lamar Jackson uh, in the game yesterday. Now his numbers, they, 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 were, they, were, they, were, they, were, they were good. Um, not great, but they were good. But he didn't turn the ball over, so that's great. Ravens, Ravens did not turn the ball over, so that was great. Now the Bengals, they, they didn't turn the ball over. But Ravens didn't turn the ball over, so amazing job by the Baltimore Ravens. Um, <clears throat> Lamar Jackson, 16 for 26. 
uh, 264 yards, averaged 10.2 yards a throw. Now that that's big right there, because uh, that's a big average. <laughs> like, because sometimes it, it could be like seven points, some it could be eight points, but 10.2 that's nice. Uh, but yeah, two touchdowns, no picks. Now on the touchdowns, uh, there was the one touchdown. Oh, Nelson Aguilar, that's where it got tipped. So shout out Nelson Aguilar. Uh, he made that play happen. Um, he, he saved that from being, because that could have went really ugly for the Baltimore Ravens. But uh, the ball got tipped, and Nelson Aguilar said, hold up, I got this. Uh, and he was like, well, that, that song, Tip Drill, I think that came from Nelly. Well, now the video, that, that, that ain't so, so team keep it clean, but just the song itself. Tip Drill came from Nelly, and now when we know what a Tip Drill interception is, we're glad that that didn't happen. Uh, but Nelly, they called Nelson Aguilar Nelly, so he was like, hold up, let me get this Tip Drill. I got, and he caught it, and he went and took it to the house. And he got the touchdown off of it, so that was a real. <laughs> I love y'all, man. But yeah, that was a really, really good play uh, from Nelson Aguilar. And then Rashad Baby, that boy finally got into the end zone. We were really happy to see that from Rashad Baby. So shout out to him for making it in the end. And I mean, there's been there's been chances where he's been close. There's been some almosts, but uh, today it wasn't an almost he got in the end zone so that was beautiful to see and I think he, he did like a little celebration where he was showing that he was back from the dead. Uh, he finally like, oh yeah, he's there. So yeah, he uh, welcome back, Rashad Bateman. Welcome back to the end zone because we know it has been uh, uh, a minute. <clears throat> Odell Beckham Jr., Last night's game, he uh, he got over 100 yards, four catches for over 100 yards, and he had that of course that 51 yard uh, big play, that deep shot that he connected with uh, that Lamar connected on him with, which was nice. Now Lamar he almost connected with Rashad Bateman, but Cam Taylor Britt just made an excellent play on the ball, excellent play on the ball. He played it perfectly. Like Lamar threw a great pass, but Cam Taylor Britt just he just played it perfectly. Um, so that was oh, it was a nice almost, but yeah, so they 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 getting there, man. Zay Flowers, oh Zay Flowers, he had like. Three catches for like 43 yards, something like that. But he should have had over 100 yards because he should have had that touchdown. They called holding on Odell Beckham Jr. That was not a holding on Odell Beckham Jr., but it is what it is. But, man, that like, oh, that was so nice. So I, I felt bad for Zay Flowers. I'm like, man, that, that, that was touchdown, man. That was touchdown for sure. But they took it away from him, so it was unfortunate. But shout out to Zay Flowers, man. Uh, obviously a good sport. Everybody saw it, so they, they know what's there. They know the ability. They know what Zay Flowers could do. Um, but we would have liked to see those numbers on his and Lamar Jackson's on that stage. That sheet too um <clears throat> now lamar jackson in this game he went 16 for 26 so he missed 10 passes he got sacked three times um lamar jackson in this game what i saw from him in my opinion it looked like he uh he was hesitant a bit at times um he was hesitant uh to throw the ball sometimes he was like it seemed like he was second guessing sometimes to either throw the ball or take off and i uh, i just i wondered why I wondered why. I wondered if maybe he was thinking, like, I don't want to turn it over. Uh, I don't want to throw a pick. Uh, was it him playing prove it ball to the media? Uh, well, like, all right, I ain't going to be running as much, even though it was right there in front. Of, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. But there were some times when he would have it. He would have a guy, and he would just hesitate, and then he would end up having, like, scrambling around. Now, in the midst of all of that, one thing that I did appreciate a, a lot. Now, he did get sacked three times. He did get sacked three times, but there were a lot of plays where he threw the ball away. And I said, oh, yeah, there you go, Lamar. Throw it, throw it away. Live to play another down. And Lamar Jackson did just that. So thank you, Lamar. Gus Edwards. Not one, but two touchdowns in last night's game. So shout out to Gus the Bus. Keaton Mitchell. Oh, <laughs> Keaton Mitchell. And Gus averaged 5.2 yards a carry, by the way. Um, Keaton Mitchell. He, they did not forget about him this game. Now, uh, I think, because um, if you look at his numbers, he averaged, like, I think 4.1 yards a carry. Let me look at it real quick. He averaged, uh, where'd it go? Oh, uh, okay, one second. He averaged, four, yeah, 4.1 yards a carry. Um, he had eight carries for 33 yards. So, you look at that and look like, oh, man, Keith Mitchell, he ain't have such a good game. But. We as Ravens fans, we keep Mitchell. Oh, we spoiled, boy. We spoiled from his debuts because that boy just, he been going crazy. Every time he touched the ball, he go crazy. But the Bengals were like, look, man, we got a bad run defense, but you ain't about to go crazy on us. Not tonight. Not on prime time. Hey, embarrass us another time, but not on prime time, man. We ain't letting Keith Mitchell get off. So they, they, they didn't. But, um, yeah, good game for the Baltimore Ravens. Good way to, to uh, close it out. Even though they were going against a backup quarterback, but still, I mean, that ain't mean, meant nothing in the past because Ravens still let up some leads. But um, we were, we were happy to see them uh, close this game out it, it did feel a little different because uh there was no joe burrow there was so he he left the game so that i know that changed a lot but i know ravens fans like look 
Hey, y'all ain't feel bad. We all took us out in the playoffs, and we had Tyler Huntley. So I know Ravens fans are not feeling bad about this one. They feel bad for Joe Burrow, the player, uh, but with the circumstance about not having the quarterback, I know a lot of Ravens fans are not feeling bad about that because we done been through it a lot. Um, so, yeah, man, we, we, we know exactly what the Bengals uh, are going through right now. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, but some big, big injuries to some quarterbacks in the AFC North. Uh, these past two games, Deshaun Watson, uh, they, they lost a little broke, broke shoulder, messed up ankle Deshaun Watson, but he's out for the season. And now Joe Burrow, we'll see what happens. None confirmed yet, but if, it, if I had to guess, I think he would probably be done for the year. Uh, so, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. We won't know till we know. But anyway, thank you for clean. I love y'all so much. I love y'all, and I appreciate y'all. Thank you for everything that y'all do. Thank you all for being so positive. Uh, again, everybody that we talked to, yeah, it was just so much love, man. I really, really appreciate y'all a lot. Like again, family, man, family. Uh, shout out to all of y'all, man. I appreciate you. I love you. I love you very, 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 very much. I really do. And we out.